Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be evolving Mitch Richmond to Amethyst and doing gameplay with this brand new Amethyst Mitch Richmond. 33 balls is all you have to complete to Evo this card to Amethyst. He's going to be a knockdown shooter. Not a great slasher by any means, but capable enough. Decent defender, uh, decent speed. He's going to be mainly just an elite shooter, though, with a little bit more versatility to him than just as a shooter, which some of these cards have. But as y'all can see, these are the boosts that this gives him. He's going to have like a 75 steel, 75 perimeter. Decent interior, not great, though. He's 81 speed. I mean, he's a decent card. Badge, badge wise, it does boost him up. He's now going to have Hoff Lighters, Hoff Mini Magician, a couple silver and gold badges as well. Silver handles for days is a good one. So let's Evo him up to Amethyst and we're going to do gameplay with this card. See how good he is in my team. Um, got him by locking in Sean Kemp. So regardless, we're just going to see how good this card is. I'm not sure he has a spot in my lineup though over Vince Carter, Brandon Roy, or Devin Booker. If he's not, he has to be better than one of those three guys to get a spot in the lineup, and I'm not sure he is. So six. 92 offense, 79 defense, 90 driving layup, 90 mid-range, 84 three ball, 60 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 75 steel and perimeter, 58 interior, 81 speed, two ball and excel, and a 75 lateral quickness. Defensively, he's pretty mediocre. Offensively, looks good. Two offs are blinders and mini magician, like I said. Seven golds are agent three, catch, shoot corner specialist, dead eye, slippery off ball, silver fast twitch, claymore, green machine, guard up, limitless range, break starter, handles for days, hyperdrive, whistle, uh, bronze bunny, float game, scooper, spin cycle, bulldozer as well. He'll be solid. I mean, stats and badge-wise on this card are pretty good. We're going to have to see what his animations are looking like. I did use his release, though, uh, and I do like his release when I was getting these uh, three balls. I think his release is really nice, really smooth. He kind of reminds me of a guy like uh, Mike Miller as a shooter or a Kyle Korver type of card. Has a nice front fade, a nice standing catch-and-shoot jump shot for sure. Overall, just a really, really nice release on this card. His fade is um, also not bad either. I wouldn't say it's insane, but it's not a bad fade by any means. Um, going both ways, it does create a decent bit of separation it isn't too slow or anything along those lines i don't shoot a ton of fades right now though i think i need to get better at implementing the fade into my uh, arsenal i shoot a lot of mid-range fades but three-point fades not really my thing right now um with that being said release is going to be money on this card movement wise he's got some good things and he's got some bad ones his between the legs is okay um, it's his size up also it's it, they're, they're pretty slow sigs which makes them a little bit tough to timing burst out of because the sig can be so hard to predict but with that release and then you do have some actually good sigs as well he's got a pretty nice explosive right here which is this move right here uh, his push cross is also pretty decent his snatch back is good so you could combo the snatch back into the push cross uh, and get some stuff going there but his dribble style also isn't very good so you really have to burst out of time burst and his moves to trigger that time burst are not that good so movement wise is not amazing although you do have the misdirection as well which is pretty nice so you can combo some stuff together standing still just not going to get much of a burst with him. mitch richmond out of most of your dribble moves so with that being said let's hop into a game let's see what this card can do all right hopping into this game our opponent has nate thurmond and Giannis. so really not a ton of spacing there is that john stockton along with ml Carr? this dude is running and then bradley beal is his one offensive card interesting ml Carr just getting busy on defense though hold up uh come set me a nice screen here mitch richmond if i could get off this screen we can hit him on the pop catch and shoot the midi it's contested but he still greens it because bradley beal doesn't play much defense i'd much rather be matched up against bradley beal than matched up against ml Carr on the offensive end of the court but it is what it is we're good this dude's team is kind of mediocre, to be honest. That could easily have been a steal as well. AD is in great defensive position. AD just makes plays on defense, man. I am so impressed by this card on the defensive end of the court. Catch and shoot again from the midi, and Mitch Richmond is not money Mitch Richmond, apparently, because I missed that one. That's my bad. Oh, that could have easily been a steal, too. It's all right, though. Really not too worried about a guy like Bradley Beal in this game. I just ran the wrong way with Sean Kemp. I just completely ran away from my assignment, which is entirely my fault. But pump fake here again. We're going to see if we can get ourselves something going. Um, he just doesn't move very well is the main problem. But, I mean, he moves well standing still. He doesn't move well to actually create a lot of shots, unfortunately, which is um, annoying because he doesn't have a good burst or anything. But we did draw a three-point foul. They're going to go to the free throw line. Free throw release is really easy, and he's got a high rating. So definitely really should not miss much at all from the free throw line with him as we just got 99%, 100%, and we're going to get another very high percentage as well because he's got that free points badge, 93 right there. So, yeah, love that. Uh, let's get in here and let's play a little bit more defense, though. Uh, whoa, hold on. AD, AD wall up, AD wall up. Okay, he gets a uh, match there to go. That's all right, though. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's get that pick and pop going with Mitch, Money Mitch again, see if we can get him a catch and shoot three point opportunity this time. A burst in this way. I meant to throw, I just threw a what in the. Get him a Yo, spacing. Holy, get in the. Hello? 
Now come set me a screen, somebody. Bradley Beal is now guarding me, which is the defensive matchup that I would prefer. We're going to shoot the pull-up mid-range. That's not an easy shot, but he knocks it down. Money Mitch knocking down tough shots right now. A couple of mid-ranges that he's knocked down that haven't been super easy shots, and then he's got a couple of free throws going on as well. See what he does defensively here, moving against uh, ML Carr. The thing about a guy like Mitch Richmond, who's a really good shooter, is that's not true about other like guys who are really elite shooters like a Mike Miller or a Kyle Korver, is that he is like a capable defender with decent speed. He doesn't quite have the size that either of those two guys have, but he's still an elite shooter as we see catch and shoot gets any space and knocks it down immediately it's just that he's a little bit more versatile as a card than those guys are so in my opinion probably a little bit better the card than those guys are even though Kyle Korver is the best shooter in the game and I'll stand on that he is the best shooter in the game nobody is a better shooter than Kyle Korver right now that card is annoying to stop from shooting the ball with that being said Good defense here. We're going to step up. We're going to contest. We're just going to make his life hard, man. Nothing easy here. Anthony Davis is really competing on the interior. I'm really impressed by this Anthony Davis card. He is even better defensively than I thought he was going to be. I thought he was going to be really good, but he has really impressed me. So interested to see if he can kind of compete against Shaq. We'll have to see. I haven't really gotten that matchup yet. So a catch and shoot. Mitch Richmond, that was a force. But he's a shooter, man. We can force some shots, right? Pump fake. Uh, he's going to go. Oh, that's blinders. Blinders. I missed it. Oh, that's a late. I spiked. It's all right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Run on the. F yep. Good. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Good D. Mitch. Oh, he didn't strip it. I thought he was going to strip it. But unfortunately, it's a foul. Mitch Richmond with 10 points, though, so far right now is definitely playing at a very high level. And I'm definitely liking the card. There's no doubt about that. His release is super nice, and he is more versatile of a card than you're going to get out of a guy like Kyle Korver or Mike Miller. If you were to lock in for Sean Kemp, say you were to get him out of one of the equal chance packs or something, you get lucky out of an agenda or something along those lines, we can get this Mitch Richmond card. He's a guy who you could 100% play in your lineup and be a very, very good shooting guard. On the level of guys like probably a Dylan Brooks and other cards like that, I don't think he's quite as good as a Devin Booker, but he's a better Kyle Korver, Mike Miller, kind of like a Dylan Brooks uh, on that level, except Dylan Brooks is a better defender, but Mitch is a better shooter. He's super tired there. He gets a way sped up release. When players get tired this year, like really tired, like blinking badly, they will just completely adjust. Like the shot timing will completely change sometimes, and I don't understand it, but we're going to reject the screen here. We're going to pull up, and we're going to green that one. There we go. He's not gassed, and he greens it again. Anytime you get a good look with with Mitch Richmond, I'd say 99 times out of 100, it's going to be going in, man. I mean, maybe not that much, but obviously it's going to go in a lot more than it doesn't when you're wide open with him. Should not really have any excuses for missing unless you get a sped jump shot or you're tired or something. But otherwise, really no excuses at all for missing with this card. Catch and shoot again. Again, I shouldn't be missing at all. I make the white that time because he's still an elite shooter. Even if I miss it, it's still going in. He's one of those guys, man. There are just some cards who can really shoot the ball at a super high level. Devin Booker, Kyle Korver. Um, Mike Miller, Mitch Richmond is one of those guys, and he's versatile. I think he's not as good as D Book, but I think he's probably the sixth best shooting guard in the game, probably right now, or somewhere around there on the Anthony Edwards, Dylan Brooks level at the shooting guard position. Really, really nice card. Uh, and let's hop back to the main menu and let's review this uh, Mitch Richmond card. I like this Mitch Richmond card, man. He is a shooter at a very high level. He's just the next evolution again of the Mike Miller, Takao Korver, now to Mitch Richmond. And then I would say D Book's a level higher because D Book's movement is even better. And he's got a really good fade and stuff. But Mitch Richmond is a very, very good option at the shooting guard position. He's right outside that top five at the position. Probably will not make my squad by any means because I have B Roy, because I have Vince, because I have Devin Booker. But that does not mean he's a bad card. And if you do get the card, 100% can play in your lineup, especially if you don't have those top tier guys. Uh, and to be able to get a guy like Mitch Richmond as well as Sean Kemp and a couple other good budget cards and stuff in this set is actually pretty nice. Could be really good for salary cap as well. So hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.